This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, April the 2nd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and we've got some active weather ahead of us for the week ahead. Satellite image this morning showing that we do have clear skies over a good portion of Alabama and Georgia, but we should be seeing some serious clouds as that system to our west and southwest uh, begins to get its act together and move our direction. In the meantime, of course, surface high pressure is keeping the weather pretty nice over the eastern third of the country. In the upper atmosphere, we've been watching, of course, this uh, very uh, deep uh, upper low coming out of uh, northern Mexico and coming across Texas today, that being responsible for a good deal of weather across uh, southeast Texas already today. Temperatures across the area are generally a little bit warmer this morning in the 50s for the most part. Uh, still a few areas, especially across Tennessee River Valley in the 40s. The uh, watch warning map, uh, a little bit busier today than yesterday. We do have uh, some severe weather going on down across uh, south central Texas. In addition to that, the green areas from east Texas across to southwestern Mississippi are all flash flood watch areas. The uh, QPF, or quantitative precipitation forecast uh, for the area, uh, includes uh, on the order of between as much as four inches of rain across the southern part of the state to as little as about an inch and a quarter in the northwest corner. So we're going to be seeing a good deal of rain in the two events that occur, one primarily on Monday and another primarily on Wednesday into early Thursday. All right, let's get to the 060 GFS model run, and there's the upper trough coming out of northern Mexico uh, across southern Texas uh, today, and that, of course, responsible for a surface uh, low that is over uh, south Texas and uh, central Texas and a good deal of weather in that area. And the Storm Prediction Center has an, a moderate risk outlined for parts of uh, East Texas and northern uh, half of Louisiana, surrounded by an enhanced risk, and that's surrounded by a slight risk that includes nearly the, uh, uh, the whole uh, eastern third of Texas, as well as parts of Mississippi, Arkansas, and all of Louisiana. By Monday, that system is beginning to weaken as it pulls off to the northeast across the uh, state of Missouri, uh, but that isn't, uh, it's weakening. It may be weakening, but it's not weakening a tremendous amount. As we can see, the surface low over Missouri, just a little bit to the north of St. Louis, uh, with a trailing cold front down into Mississippi, and that's bringing in a large complex of thunderstorms, perhaps an MCS that will be producing uh, the potential for severe weather across a good portion of the southeastern U.S. You can see that we have an enhanced risk from Mobile up uh, to uh, just a little bit to the north and northwest of Augusta, Georgia, covering a good portion of uh, the southern two-thirds of Alabama and a good portion of uh, the central and northern sections of Georgia. And, of course, that's surrounded by a slight risk. So we're going to have severe weather ongoing. It does look like Cape values uh, by... Uh, Monday afternoon could be in the range from, uh, um, oh, about um, 1,800 to about 2,200 or so. And then uh, we also note that uh, the dew points for uh, Wednesday afternoon are into the mid-60s across the southeastern U.S., and shear values are substantial uh, in the range from about 250 to as high as about 450. So all in all, pretty uh, good chance that we'll see some severe weather. The weather calms down on Tuesday as we get a little bit of uh, a break, a little bit of a breather between the systems. You can see another system coming out of the Texas Panhandle. And, uh, of course, at the surface, that's a system out of the Texas Panhandle helping to generate a surface low in the vicinity of Wichita Falls. That system comes out across Missouri and the uh, central Mississippi River Valley on Wednesday, and that paints another bad day for the severe weather across the southeastern United States. You see the surface low over central Indiana with a cold front stretching down into Alabama by midday on Wednesday. Storm Prediction Center for uh, day four has outlooked a very large area of 15% risk, stretching all the way from uh, a good portion of uh, nearly all of Alabama, nearly all of Georgia, up into West Virginia and southern Ohio. Cape values uh, during the afternoon on Wednesday are forecast to be uh, pretty substantial, uh, approaching 3,000 joules per kilogram. Uh, the shear values are not especially uh, high, but they are up there. Uh, so once again, we do have the combination of both. And in addition to that, uh, the GFS is projecting dew points 
uh, up into the mid and perhaps even upper 60s across parts of the southeastern United States. The trough moves into the Great Lakes, but that helps to uh, dig. Uh, the, the closed low moves into the Great Lakes, but that digs a pretty big trough over the eastern part of the country as the surface low moves up into the eastern Great Lakes as well, and the cold front moves off the east coast of the U.S. But on Friday, that uh, digging trough continues, and as it does, we could be seeing some temperatures uh, in the 30s on Friday morning. As a matter of fact, the GFS Moss guidance is painting a 39 for a low on Birmingham on Friday morning. So uh, with a nice high-pressure system and the winds going calm and good cold air advection as well as uh, the uh, potential for good radiational cooling, we could have a very chilly day. But good news is that by Saturday, that trough is moving off the East Coast, so we begin a warming trend. Uh, again, the high settling in over our area. And uh, then by Sunday, we're under a ridge, and that ridge is certainly uh, paint, uh, projecting the possibility of warming. So we'll see temperatures around 80 degrees by Sunday. So really chilly on Friday morning, but by Sunday, back up to around 80. Looking out into uh, voodoo country, uh, the weather pattern is staying pretty active. We see a pretty uh, robust system around the 13th of April. And then again, we see another fairly robust system uh, around the 16th, 17th of April. Uh, so uh, no rest for us in the weather office uh, while we're dealing with this very fast-moving weather pattern. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. Be sure to stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather situation. Uh, we'll be uh, following this very, very closely. I want you to be sure to have a plan, have a way to get warnings, especially for Monday and Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.